Kristen Chilinopic here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell, it is a little bit of a different video. I am on the couch and you get to see my face, but pretty much I'm going to be doing a Q&A video and I know that you guys are kind of bored in the quarantine and I am too. So that's why I wanted to switch it up and just talk to you like face to face, just so it's a change of scenery, if you know what I mean. So I asked you to leave me some questions on my Instagram story and I got so many that I had to like go through and pick the ones that were like the most I think needed to be answered. So if I don't go through your questions, I'm sorry. It's not that I didn't think you were important. I just, you know, there's just so many, so I had to minimize the amount. Okay, so I have them saved here on my phone. Have you ever considered being a chinchilla breeder in the future? No, I have not. Um, people have asked me this before. I've not ever considered it. I don't want to. And um, I'm trying to go to college right now. I also work, so it just wouldn't, really be something that I would want to start a business on in the future. What are the most important things to know before getting a chinchilla? So I actually get asked this a lot, especially in my DMs on Instagram. There's just like so much to know when you're getting a chinchilla, but there's not like one specific thing that you should know above the other. I always just recommend to pay for people to be aware of what you're getting into, do a lot of research and continue researching and as you own a chinchilla like experience is going to help you with that you know make sure that their housing is really good that their cage is big enough they have enough ledges toys everything because that's something that's so underrated that's really important that's your chinchilla's livelihood right there it's based on how they're living so make sure their cage is really really well put together the next question is do you think chinchillas are best to bond with when they are 10 weeks old weeks I'm bad at math I think this is two months two and a half months so two and a half months okay I have to make sure I was right on my math anyway they're actually it's best if you try to bond with your chinchilla as young as possible the younger you start the easier it will be for them to bond you with you the less is gonna be frightening for them so try to handle them a lot when they're young do you expect Merlin to asset dominance when he and Zoro finally meet. I do, and the breeder actually told me that the bigger chinchilla, not, it doesn't have to do with age, it has to do with size, is usually going to assert dominance over the smaller ones, so that might happen with Merlin and Zoro, but he did tell me to wait until Zoro is a little bit bigger so that there's not a huge difference, but a little bit of a difference. So I do think he will, obviously, he's really territorial, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna, you know, try my best. Ideas on reducing smell also, will they chew on a pee pad if I leave it in the cage for a while? Um, usually chinchillas, pee pads are made of fleece, so they could be curious. Merlin doesn't really bother his, but he does like to drag around his fleece pillow, so maybe your chinchilla can do that. But um, ideas on reducing the smell. So um, when your chinchilla's cage smells, it's usually because of pee. The poop doesn't smell, it's because of the pee. So there's not much you can do. I don't recommend air fresheners because the problem is if it smells bad to you, it's very much gonna smell bad to the chinchilla. I mean, first of all, they're right up close next to the fleece and they have a way better sense of smell than we do. So you just need to start cleaning it more often. And some chinchillas like to pee in one spot and then that spot gets super concentrated and smells bad within a few days. That's why I recommend pee pads and if your chinchilla constantly moves them, it's usually in the corner, so try to like find a way to strap it with using like binder clips or something to the edge of the cage or the cage bars or something or hold it down with a tile or like the edge of a hut or something. But other than that, clean the cage more often if it's something that is really becoming a problem. I like to clean mine every five days. I used to do it once a week, now I do it every five days and if you need every four days because in, in the end it's about your chinchilla's health. You don't want them walking around and smelling their pee and getting it on their fur if there's a lot of it on the fleece. So yeah. How can you tell if your one chin should be introduced to and eventually live with another chin? Well, there's not really something that, you know, tells you when to do it. I know Merlin in the past, this is why he's alone. He's not gotten along with other chinchillas. So I'm a little bit scared and that's why I was holding back on doing this for a long time. But I just decided to try going for it. But there's not really something that you can just tell. You can only try and I will be documenting once I start bonding them, I will be documenting the whole process and I'll be sharing what techniques worked for me and that you guys can also take from that. But as far as how can you tell, there's not really any indication that they're ready to bond. You just have to start and take it slow. Is it normal for chinchillas to shed a bit? Yes, it is. As the warmer season is coming up, chinchillas do shed a little more and that's because they're just getting rid of their old fur and they're growing new fur. It's normal, don't worry about it. Um, unless 
The only time you should be alarmed is when you're seeing chunks of fur in the cage or if you're interacting with the chinchilla and they lose a bunch of fur that's because they're scared of you. But other than that, unless you notice bald spots or chunks of fur just lying around in the cage, it's not a problem. Shedding is completely normal and healthy. Can two chinchillas share one critternation cage? Yes, they can. They can fit very comfortably in a critternation cage. And I actually, if I do end up bonding these two together, Zoro and Merlin, I want to find a way to combine the two cages together. And I think my dad has a plan for that. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I want to combine the two. But one cage, one critternation is definitely okay for two chinchillas. Where did you get Merlin and Zoro from? I got Merlin from PetSmart here, and I got M Zoro from a breeder up in the other side of my state. So that's where I got them. And how is the new chinny adjusting to his new home? How long should my chinchilla be allowed to spend time in his dust bath? So there's not really a necessary time for them to do it. Sometimes You can literally just let your chinchilla take a few rolls and that'll be fine. I usually let Merlin have it during his playtime and he'll go in and out of it a bunch for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, I just let him do what he wants to do with it. It's kind of like fun for them. So it's, there's not really a set time. I just don't recommend doing it every single day. I would usually at least try to let three days go between dust baths. Should you have your chinchilla's cage near windows? Uh, no. Um, if direct sunlight is hitting their cage, that's definitely not a good thing. The closest breeder is five hours away from me. What is the best way to travel back with a young chin? So Zoro was about four hours away from me, so it's a little bit, you have a little bit of a longer trip, but the best way is to set up their carrier to have hay, a hidey hut for sure, and some food and water. I doubt they're gonna drink the water, but you can try to put it in there. And then to cover it with the fleece. And that way they don't get scared because they're gonna be hearing and feeling the movement of the car, but they're not gonna be seeing. And it'll be a little darker, so it'll calm them down a little more. That's my best recommendation for that long. Are they easy to take care of? It depends. Some, you know, it really depends on your perspective and what you consider easy. I honestly think chinchillas are pretty easy. Having two now, the cleaning time and the play time and the care is a lot longer now, but they're pretty easy to take care of. You just, after you've owned chinchillas for a while, you just kind of get into a routine of it. Once you lose your chinchillas trust, can you regain it? Yes, you can sometimes, but it's really difficult to because losing trust in anything, animals or humans, is hard to regain and you have to really work to build it back up. So if you have lost your chinchillas trust, majorly, you just start from, start from, you know, square one, how you went when you first got them. Start from there and then keep going until you gain their trust back. Can you brush them with a pet brush? No, chinchillas take care of their own fur. They groom their own fur and the dust bath is enough. You don't need to use a brush, that's bad for them. Should I get one or chinchilla or two? Two, because they need to live in pairs. I had Merlin alone, like I said, for a long time because he had to live alone, but most chinchillas need to live in pairs. I can't stress this enough. They are sociable herd animals and they need to have the companion of another chinchilla, which is why I'm gonna try really hard to bond my two. Now, I have talked to experienced owners and I did say if your chinchillas cannot, or like refuse to bond for whatever reason, one thing is just like having two chinchilla cages right next to each other, Maybe they don't have to like live with each other because they can't get along, but just to smell and see and hear another chinchilla gives them the companionship they need. Because even in the wild, some chinchillas, like let's say you have two really dominant males that are bigger than the rest of the males or females, and those two are just constantly fighting, they're gonna be in separate herds, but they're still gonna be with other chinchillas, just not with each other, and that's kind of the way it works with chinchillas. Just being around other ones is healthy for them. What age group would you recommend them for? Chinchillas are not um, kid pets. I don't recommend them for kids. I think the old, the youngest I would go for is probably like 12 years old to own chinchillas, but that doesn't mean that not all kids can own chinchillas. There are responsible kids who are very well educated, take good care, are responsible. But in general, in general, kids are not very good with chinchillas. They get bored really fast. These are fragile animals. You can't cuddle them like you can with bunnies or cats or something like that you you really can't do that with chinchillas they're very fast animals and they like I said they're just not very cuddly animals so that's why kids are usually not the best option for them because they're just not very cuddly uh, did you need a document or something to own one no you don't they are exotic but you don't need one to own the chinchilla is if the chinchilla doesn't have any social or health conditions can it still live alone this is not healthy for a chinchilla, so I wouldn't recommend it. 
If you ever get a third chinchilla, and what sex is Merlin, will you breed them if it's a girl? I probably would never get a third chinchilla just because two is a lot of work and I just like two. I don't want to get any more animals. Um, I'm actually not an animal person. I do like chinchillas and I do love Merlin and Zorro, but I'm not a very big animal person, so I wouldn't try to get any more than I already have. Merlin is a boy, so he's not going to be breeding with Merlin. How, did I say Merlin? I meant Zorro's a boy. <laughs> How was Merlin when you first got him compared to Zorro? Merlin was completely different. He was super friendly, open, and like excited to meet me. Zorro has been really closed off and kind of scared. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that it did take four hours to bring him home and he probably was really scared, but it's just their personalities I've already noticed are quite different. Zoro's really cautious, even when I'm not like in his face, he's just really cautious and kind of slow to take things. Merlin's really feisty, he's going for it, he's like, he's confident, you know. How is Zoro? He's really good. How long do you think it will take to, for Zoro to bond with you? I don't know, because with Merlin it took no time at all, but with Zoro it's taking a little bit more time, so. I'm thinking maybe a few months, honestly. We'll see. Is it safe to take a chin outside if the weather is right and in a contained space? I actually already did a video on this, cold can chinchillas go outside, and there I explained the concept, but the short answer is no, it's not. How long should the process of switching food take? It feels like I'm doing more harm than good. So I'm actually currently in this process too. I'm still feeding Zoro, his breeder, fed him, and I'm continuing to do that. Basically, you don't need even more than a week to do this. I just continue to use that food until it's gone, and then I'll switch him. How old were you when you first got when you got your first chinchilla? I think I was 12. I think I was 12 years old because it was in 2015. No, it was 2012. <laughs> I can't do math. I was 12 years old. Right? Yeah, okay, I was 12 years old. Why don't you have a wheel in Zoro's cage? Because I want to bond him with Merlin, I'm not going to put a, a wheel in there unless they don't work out. If they have to be separate, I will get him a wheel, but for now, I don't want to. And the breeder said it's not necessary to have two wheels in a cage for two chinchillas. How often should you allow your chinchilla playtime? Every day if you can, because think about it, they're stuck in these cages all day long, and their only bit of like excitement and where they can completely let their energy go, popcorn off walls, run around, is playtime. So that's why it's important to have it every day. I try to do it for at least an hour, if not more. Who looks after your chinchilla when you go away on vacation? I usually travel alone. Like if I leave, it's all, so most of the time it's alone. So my, my mom does it for me. But when our whole family leaves, I call my cousin and she is actually really, she's experienced. She's been doing this for like years. And I have directions for her, but she doesn't even need them. She knows how to take care of them, and she does it for me. Would you recommend getting a chinchilla? I do. I have a positive look on chinchillas. They are animals that need to be thought about before you get them because they're a long commitment, 20 years. Really highly recommend you do all the research you can before deciding to get one. That way you know what you're getting yourself into. How much money did you spend on Zorro altogether? For Zorro, I spent 950. I have it on my phone, all the expenses. He himself is $500, and that was like the main chunk of it. What are the best healthy treats for your chinchilla, and how many can they eat a week? They don't even need treats. If you don't give them treats at all, they're actually going to be healthier than if you did give them treats. Because we just do it because they love treats and it's cute to watch them eat it. So I like goji berries, oats, and I. It's barley oats, barley grouts, I think that's what they're called. But um, yeah, I feed my chinchillas treats very rarely, at least once or twice a week, that's it. How old do you think a chinchilla will be when they are full grown? I think the age is seven months and they're full grown, or eight months. But it's definitely not a year. They are full grown before they're a year old. How old do chinchillas get? They can live up to 20 years, I think. Yeah, about 20 years. I remember talking to somebody who said their chinchilla was 18 years old. They had DM'd me on Instagram. That was so cool. Like, I, it's so weird to think about Merlin when I'm like 30 something, Merlin is still gonna be alive. Like, that's crazy. He could still be alive. Um, is it normal for my chinchilla to randomly squeak? I get so many DMs about this. I actually do wanna talk about this. Chinchillas make a lot of weird noises and a lot of them happen at night. So if you hear a chinchilla yipping, I'm not even gonna try to, not gonna be like trying to imitate the sound, but just try to describe them. If you hear them like yipping at night, um, squeaking, squealing, 
barking or grunting, like it's like a little grunt noise they make. It's nothing to be worried about. Chinchillas make a lot of noises and most of the time they're for attention, but not all the time. Sometimes they just make noises. I know that so now that I have two chinchillas, they communicate so much. It's so funny. I've never heard it before because I've only ever had one chinchilla, but it's like hearing them communicate is so cool. Unless you hear an alarming pitch, like you'll know when it's alarming. It's high pitched. They're like squealing for their lives. And that's because they're probably hurt. And you know, or if they fall down. Sometimes Merlin, when he was younger, he would just like fall down and then like squeak really quick and then he'll be fine. But like, I remember using to freak out and in the middle of the night, I would hear him start to squeal. And I would go in there and he's fine. He's just sitting and he's just squealing. And then he learned, every time I would go there, he learned that if he squealed, he could get my attention, so that's why he did. Most chinchilla noises are very normal and nothing I would worry about. Unless you're like approaching them and they bark at you, or like try to bite you or make some weird noise, that's obviously because they feel threatened. But if they're just chilling in their cage making noises, it's usually nothing to worry about. Alright guys, so I know that wasn't even the surface of the questions you guys asked me, but these are the ones that I chose to answer. If I didn't answer your question, I will be doing Q&As in the future, so don't worry. And yeah, so another thing is I might be going live on Instagram and I, w I can do a Q&A on there. That way you guys can answer, you guys can ask and I can answer right away. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.